Last chapter, we did equilibrium expression. And so we looked at things like this. If we have a, an equation like this one, we can write the equilibrium constant as equal to the concentration product multiplied together, raised to the power of the coefficients, divided by the concentration of the reactants. Uh, of course, raised to the power of their coefficients as well. And uh, we saw that um, if there's, there's a pure liquid um, or a pure solid, we don't include those. So now we're going to apply that same idea to acid and base reactions. So Ka is written, so this is the acid. Let's write the generalized. Um, so Ka, the acid dissociation constant. So the expression for the acid dissociation constant, let's say we have a generalized equation, HA plus H2O makes, well, if H acid and H2O is the base, the hydrogen, hydrogen ion donates this way. So we have A minus and H3O plus. We're going to say that these are happening in aqueous solution and the water is a liquid. So we have the conjugate base, conjugate acid. So given this generalized equation, Ka is written where we have the products concentrations multiplied together. So A minus times H3O plus divided by the reactant concentration. So that's HA. Now do we include water? Well we just said that um, pure liquids and solids don't get included because the con is constant. So no, we don't include water in the expression. So this is the expression. Now let's do the one for bases as well. We'll call that KB. So this is the base <coughs> dissociation. constant and we'll write the expression for that. Let's start with the generalized reaction. Let's say that B stands for base and it's going to react with water. So if B is the base, the proton or hydrogen ion goes from water to the base and as a result we get H, B, plus, and O, H, minus. So we have the conjugate acid, conjugate base. <clears throat> now, H, H, B, plus, and O, H, minus, then. So when we write the KB uh, aqueous, we'll say aqueous. OH. We don't include the water because. Okay, so we're going to apply this now to several problems. So if we have the acid shown here, HCN. The first thing we need to do is we need to write the equation. After we write the equation, then we'll write dissociation expression, whether it's the acid dissociation expression or the base dissociation expression. So HCN is an acid. So we write first HCN aqueous plus water 
liquid. And since HCN is the acid, it's the hydrogen ion. As a result, we get CN minus and H3O plus. So to write the expression then, Ka is the product CN minus times H3O plus concentration divided by HCN concentration. We don't include water since it's a pure liquid. And that's it for that problem. The next one C2 H7 N. So in this we have a base H7N aqueous plus water liquid. The hydrogen ion will be by C2H7N. As a result we get HC2H7N plus and OH minus. So KB then, the base dissociation expression, is HC2H7N plus times OH minus all divided by C2H7N concentration. Two more quick examples. If we had carbonate, we'll need to remember the formula since we're given the name this time. Carbonate CO3 2 minus. plus H2O, we show they react with water for each one. Now we can predict that carbonate is going to accept a proton since it's negative. It's trying to become more positive, trying to become more neutral. So carbonate acts as the base. As a result we get HCO3 minus and OH minus. So now we write the expression. KB, since we have a base, is HCO3 minus times OH minus all over CO3 2 minus. And one more example. Hydro sulfuric acid. So if we break down the parts of this name, we'll need to, to uh, figure out what the formula is. We have hydro and ick. So the hydro and ick rule, rule tell us that um, this is from a, a, an ion, the anion, ends in IDE. So we know we have an IDE ending to the anion. So if the anion ends in IDE and we bring down the stem, there's a couple of letters inserted, so just the sulf part, we can see that this is coming from sulfide. Sulfide. Now sulfide is the monatomic ion. We can find that on the periodic table. And so it's simply S minus. Here's my periodic table. S two minus, since it's in group um, 6A. 
So we have S2 minus, that's the sulfide ion. Now that reacts with hydrogen in the form of an acid. Let's crisscross that and figure out what the formula of the acid would be. So we have H2S. So this is the formula of sulfuric acid. So now we can plug that in. H this is the acid minus plus H3O plus. Now we just brush in. Ka is HS times H3O plus all divided by H2S.